Andre, welcome to this week, Ned. Hey, thanks for having me. Um, first, uh, you're at Cloudflare for over a year now, and you actually joined Cloudflare as an intern. So can you explain to us a bit of your path so far? Yep, it's almost two years now since I joined Cloudflare. As you mentioned, I, I joined as a software engineer intern in the Radar and Data Insights team. And now I'm a systems engineer, more focused on uh, full-stack development for the Radar product. So I mainly work on uh, on the Radar website, Radar API, and other Radar-related projects like URL scanner, certificate transparency monitoring and uh, and so on because uh, actually cloudflare announced over 1100 uh, interns for next year so a big number of interns last year can you give us just how was it for you to be an intern and then actually becoming part a complete part of the team yep so it was... and you're based in lisbon for the, for those who are wondering yes. you're based in lisbon as me we are both based in Lisbon. Uh, yes, it was an amazing experience. So I really felt that I was part of the team. So I, I was shipping stuff to, to production. And basically, I, I was an engineer. I was an intern, so I had always the intern card, like we, we used to say. So there's not so much pressure as if you are a full-time employee. But uh, it was a... A wonderful experience. I, I learned a lot and I still learn today with the senior engineers. And uh, so I recommend the internship for, for everyone that is finishing college or still in college and want to have uh, an experience in, in the field. Absolutely. And uh, Cloudflare Radar, we spoke many times about Cloudflare Radar in the show, even uh, during a very relevant outage in Spain and Portugal a few months ago with David Belson, our product manager of Radar. Uh, can you give us like your your two sentence run through of what is Radar before we go to into a demo of, about something that we launched this week? Yes, so basically Radar it's it's an app, a platform that showcases trends and insights of uh, of the internet. So basically, traffic trends, adoption of protocols, security insights, and uh, much more. So. It's, it's an app where we collect data from very different perspectives of how the internet works and uh, we showcase those trends for free for everyone to explore and learn from them. And, and there's tools there. Uh, you spoke about That's already about URL scanner, but we have also Data Explorer. There's a lot there, even as a tool area for people to explore, for sure. Yep. And this week, so this week it was the internet resilience, internet uh, making the internet better block takeover week, in a sense, from the research team, but also the radar team and other friendly teams, in a sense. And you wrote a blog post about something that we launched on radar uh, called from, from.com to dot anything, introducing top level domain insights on Cloudflare Radar, TLDs. So can you give us actually a demo and explain a bit what, what we launched specifically uh, this week there? Yep. So well, let's do it. Let's just share my screen. We are in Radar. And uh, in the past, we, we already had some insights about top level domains. In the, in the, these insights were scattered in different sections of Radar. So, for example, if you, if you go to the email security page, you have a ranking of the most abused TLDs. So, based on the email classification by spam or malicious emails. More recently, uh, this year, we also launched the Certificate Transparency page, where we also have some insights about uh, TLD distribution in certificates. So we also have this here. And so we decided to create a, a TLD-specific page with the different rankings. So one of the most visited pages in Radar is the Domains Ranking page, uh, where you can see like the domains that are trending today or this week, the the ranking popularity and also some internet services trends. So we decided to create a new page with a new ranking called the top level domain section under the, the NIADAS section. And basically when uh, the page welcomes the user with uh, this TLD ranking by a new metric called the DNS magnitude. And basically what we do is instead of relying on the query volume of the uh, queries for the, the domain, we use the number of unique networks that query the, that domain. So it's better to use the, the number of unique networks because 
if there's a large client that issues a lot of queries for a, a TLD, using the query volume, the, the TLD would be ranked higher, but that would not be like a valid metric for popularity. So we use this, this new DNS magnitude metric. So we have this, uh, this ranking here, we have uh, uh, the type of TLDs, the, the manager. So this is the, the organization that managed this, this TLD and then the, the magnitude. This, uh, this value uh, ranges from zero to 10 and the higher values means that the, the TLD is more popular. Of course, that we have .com here at the top, which is the, the most known the TLD. It's also .net, .org, and also some um, uh, country code TLDs like .io, .tv, and probably .ai, yes, it's, it's also here at the top, that are country code TLDs. However, they, they, were, uh, they are also used for commercial purposes. So it's, it's also interesting to see those, those TLDs here. And then we have uh, also a TLD information page. So if you want to check specific information about a TLD, you can uh, click on uh, TLD. And similarly, like we do in, uh, in domains, we have uh, this TLD information with the, the information about the TLD, the ranking, if it has support for DNSSEC, uh, the extension of DNX for security, if uh, supports are DAP, the, the OEs. And this card is particularly interesting because it shows the date where the TLD was created. We also really have interesting. I, I love to explore that. Yeah. It, it's it's really nice. But we also have a card that shows that the TLD is available on the Cloudflare registrar. If you are interested to purchase the domains with the, this TLD, some DNS traffic trends for our quad one DNS resolver. So this is the, the query volume for domains with the, this TLD and also break down by record type, DNS support, the response codes, the geographical distribution. So the the countries that uh, are uh, issuing queries for domains within this TLD. That's a really, really interesting part as well, uh, to see the distribution there. And it's worth mentioning, uh, not sure if you mentioned already, that all of this data comes from Qualfers Resolver Quad 1, 1.1.1. Uh, so it's specific to those trends, DNS queries for those trends, right? Exactly. All this data comes from our our Resolver. Yes, uh, all, we, we mentioned this in the blog post and in the page. And also we have uh, the, the certificate issues volume for uh, domains within this, this TLD. And this data comes from the certificate transparency logs that uh, uh, Cloudflare uh, monitors. A question there. So that's part of the, uh, the certificate area that you shared before and mm -hmm. it was launched during birthday week, so a few weeks ago. And it, it was already a, as a Cloudflare page, uh, ct.cloudflare.com, and now it's on Radar. Mm -hmm. But um, it was it had this cool name as well, Merkel Town. Mm -hmm. And we actually this week had a very popular blog post about Merkel trees as well, about certificates uh, there as well. Can you explain to us the, the importance of, of this certificate uh, area? Who is the, the people that will actually benefit from, from this part, really? Yeah, so basically everyone. So uh, Certificate Transparency is an ecosystem created to, to have this transparency of uh, which certificates are issued by, uh, by whom and to, to the different domains and entities. So before we used to trust the certificate authorities and we still trust them. Um, however, if a, a certificate authority was uh, hacked, for example, it could issue certificates that will be uh, would be trusted by the other entities like the browsers and so on. So it was decided to create this uh, certificate transparency ecosystem where every certificate must be logged into uh, what we call city logs. So there are three types of entities in, in the ecosystem. So we have CAs, so the issuers of certificates, certificate transparency logs, so the CIs needs to 
log these certificates into these logs and these logs are publicly available so everyone can check them and the certificate transparency monitors uh, like uh, Merkle Town and now this this page which are responsible for querying these logs and checking if everything is is working fine and uh, basically for a certificate to to be trusted for example in Chrome I think it needs to be logged in at least three trusted logs so there's uh, there's much more security so we all benefit from it of course makes makes sense um you uh, re regarding uh, the tlds part i think we're you, you already showed any area specifically there there's um there's also a blog post this week from david belson about the quarterly outage or disruption internet disruptions we can go there to the outage page so the outage center under connectivity we have our outage center where we showcase uh, like the latest internet outages and traffic anomalies that we, we detect. Uh, for example, we are seeing here the disruptions in traffic in Tanzania due to the elections, I think. Yeah, it was the post-elections government-directed uh, shutdowns yesterday and today. Terrific. And Jamaica, the hurricane also brought some, some out, a big outage that is continuing. So yep. since Tuesday, there's a big outage in Jamaica related to the hurricane there. Yes, and we also see it in our, our traffic. So if probably if we, yes, yes. traffic disruption here in HTTP traffic yeah. and traffic volume for Jamaica. So the outage is quite amazing to to explore and to see for sure. The blog post that also came out this week from the Belson about the disruption uh, uh, the disruptions of Q3 are also represented, of course, in the outage center for people to explore, even the latest ones. And this was a busy week there in terms of outages in specific parts of the world. Last but not least, do you have a favorite section part of Radar? You've been working in different new areas. We've been launching different new things in, on Radar, even recently the region, regional sections where people can explore states. But um, do you have like a favorite one specifically? It's hard to say because I, I worked in, in the radar as a whole. So I, I worked in many sections. So probably a certificate transparency since it's the, the latest section where I worked in. I also really like the internet quality section, which shows this one is for Tanzania. But so the, how the internet, the internet quality trends for uh, latency, and as response time and, and other metrics like speed. It's also an interesting section and probably URL scanner. The URL scanner, it's, as you mentioned earlier, it's a, a really interesting tool for uh, security and everyone can use it. So if you find a URL that maybe you, you don't trust or you want to learn more about it, you can just copy the, the URL, paste it here and check the, the report. So it's also a really interesting section, uh, but feel free to explore radar a section for every person. So if you are more interested in network, we have our routing section with BGP stuff. Uh, we also have a lot of sections for uh, security and attacks. We and also bots. have bots. Yes, it's a topic really hot these days. So uh, we have our bots directory. So if you want to check information about specific bots, like uh, Google bots, you can search for them, see traffic trends. So we have a bit of everything. Yeah, and the AI insights area, also a cool one that we've been having things recently. Yep. There, I may that well. be the crawlers, how much uh, crawling has been going on, the purpose uh, with training, and also how many clicks AI crawlers are actually sending to con creators, to sites, really. And also a cool one. And best practices there is also a cool one as well. Yep. Popularity. Also an interesting. Exactly. Uh, that's close to heart to give it that I, I contributed a lot to that. One of the, actually, before we go, one of the things that we're seeing on the news in France, actually, this week was someone, a news outlet uh, going, explaining how they used the cloud for radar to show that Linux is growing in France. And that was quite interesting. And they use for that our data explorer. So they mm -hmm. just went look at uh, data explorer they looked at the http requests and also yeah you can go there and also the operating system 
Oh, do I have to filter by Linux? No, 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 no need. You can do the breakdown on the operating right system on top. Yeah. Right. And just put like 12 months or so, last 12 months. Mm -hmm. Even worldwide, you can see, and this works really well in terms of showing you trends. You can just select Linux, for example, and you can see like the evolution worldwide, but you, then you can select like right. a specific country, France, again, because it was the one that was mentioned in the, in the in new, and you double click on Linux and you can see the evolution of mm -hmm. the past year in terms of, of Linux, uh, a, a clear evolution there that could be tracked here specifically, which is kind of interesting. Forgot to mention, put human only, because cool. this also includes bots and bots are different in terms of behavior than humans. So that's a different, actually you can see a bigger increase there from mm -hmm. one point something to, it's, it's quite different there. Yeah. Um, oh, another thing actually, because this also includes mobile, would uh, be device type only desktop. Yeah. Like, okay, what, what are uh, engineers <laughs> doing with, uh, with Linux? Uh, then the percentage is even higher. It goes from two per, almost 3% to uh, almost 4% or 3.4%. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, oh, well, it's, it's those little things that sometimes we see others using radar and actually look at the trends and we found interesting nuggets of trends for sure. And yep. very interesting. So data Explorer is also an interesting tool that we have. It's, it's a really powerful tool. So if you don't find your specific trends that are looking for in the, the radar sections, that doesn't mean that we we don't have it so you can check data explorer we have a lot of breakdowns data sets filters so it's a powerful tool that exposes our api basically so feel free to to explore it okay that was a great demo of radar so many other things to to see uh, for sure because it's really complete by now uh, with so many sections but uh, mm -hmm. there there were definitely some great nuggets there to for people to explore. Thank you for doing this, Andre. Thank you so much. And see you in the office. See you. And that's a wrap.